Hi, my name is Sylvia from the Department of Chemical and Process Engineering at the University of Strathclyde. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about bioplastics. All plastic is made from a type of molecule called a polymer. A polymer is a long chain of repeating units. Sometimes other chemicals are added to these polymers to give the plastic other properties like strength or flexibility. Most of the plastic we use every day comes from petrochemical sources. These are fossil fuels and they are not renewable. These plastics also do not break down naturally and have to be recycled. However, there are an increasing number of bioplastics being created. A bioplastic is a plastic material that has been produced from a sustainable biomass resource. Materials such as recycled food waste, plant matter, sawdust, and even vegetable fats contain natural polymers which can be turned into plastic products. I'm going to do a demonstration of making a bioplastic. Now this is not the same type of bioplastic that Dr. Karen Johnston and her team are working on. However, it should give you an idea how we can create a plastic material from a renewable plant-based source. So we're going to start with starch. This is potato starch. So it has been extracted from potatoes and dried to this white powder. Now, starch is a polymer. It's found in most of the carbohydrate food that we, we eat, plant food that we eat, including potatoes, rice, wheat, um, and corn. Um, but it's also a polymer. Uh, it's actually a branched polymer, which means it's quite big and bulky. And we're gonna use this as the polymer that we're gonna turn into a plastic. To this starch, I'm going to add some water and some blue food coloring. Now I'm going to add an acid to this mixture. And the acid I'm going to add is acetic acid, also known as vinegar. So I'm gonna add 30 milliliters of that. Finally, I'm going to add some glycerol. Glycerol is a pretty common chemical which is found as a sweetener and also in soap. Um, but we're going to use this as a plasticizer, which basically means it's going to help our final product stay kind of rubbery and not break apart. We're going to add 15 milliliters of the glycerol. So now I'm going to go into my kitchen and I'm going to heat up this mixture. Uh, I'm going to heat it gently on a pan of water with some stirring consistently for about 20 minutes. So the combination of the heat and the acid that we've added is going to break down those branched starch molecules uh, and should start to change the, change the structure of them. After heating, you can see that the solution has really, really changed in color and in texture. With the help of the acid and the heat, the starch molecules have broken down a little bit from their branched form and into long elastic chains. I'm gonna pour this onto this foil, which is on a heat proof mat, because it's kind of hot still. There we go. So when the solution completely cools down, the long strings of starch are going to start to pack together really densely. This is what's going to create the plastic. Here is our final product. This is a plastic made from potato polymers. This plastic is flexible and rubbery. This is because of the glycerin we added. So the glycerin molecules go in between the long starch molecules, which help to keep it elastic and flexible. I hope that this demonstrates how we can make plastics from sustainable sources. Engineers at the University of Strathclyde are creating new types of biopolymers to be used in food packaging. These will be more sustainable and better for the environment and for our future.